I have an assumption about you. I don't think that you know what a rock looks like. It may seem like a bold statement, but at the end of the video, I think you'll know what I mean, okay? Last video we tackled the misconception about using references and that that would be cheating as artists. And in today's video we'll go through how to actually use references and learn to get things into your visual library as fast as possible. So, let's start off simple. Draw a rock. And don't google any pictures or anything, you'll have to draw it from your imagination. I myself am gonna pick a Swedish rock with lots of moss and stuff. So uh, pause the video now and draw slash paint one for yourself. Uh, like the type of rock that you want to draw. And then unpause when you're done, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna be drawing this, okay? I trust you. You won't find that value in this lesson unless you do. Okay? So as you can see here, I tried to block in the shapes and add a bit of background in order to increase the contrast and give it some sense of environment and sense of self because it deserves it okay so now that you have your rock be sure to think about what colors you used or what colors you think the rock would have and now look up a picture of the sort of rock that you actually wanted to draw you'll immediately see that there's quite a difference so the thing you'll do now is you do a study and then you can find out what's the difference between the depiction that you did of the rock and how it actually looks so as you can see here with the finished result there's actually quite a difference and if these were the colors that we had for the, like, the one from the imagination, these are the colors that we actually used for this piece. So if we go in the same order, we had actually colors ranging from quite a saturated tan-ish color to these. You can see that these moss colors are a lot more saturated as well as a lot more yellow and warmer than these. These were almost like the upper side of a leaf in the shadows. Yeah, and then here we have some quite saturated greens as well. Oh, we already took that. So we have those colors, and then in the actual rock go in almost the same order. We have these sorts of actually bluish parts, almost a sort of really, really desaturated teal, but it comes in more saturated here, as well as some darker pink-ish purples. Like it's subtle, but you can't see it uh, when it gets brighter. And then, part me, or in spots, it comes more saturated. And then we have, I can't forget that this moss is actually also a moss. And this piece, or these teal colored pieces, are actually moss in reality. This part is just the quartz. I think it's called in the rock. And then we also have this red vegetation growing on top of it. Because oftentimes we forget to do this, like the more vegetation than the actually. We do a lot less vegetation. For example, in the snow, if you look at it, uh, oftentimes you'd paint it with. Uh, like you think at least like, like really smooth and just like. See if we can quickly paint it in. Like, ish like this, like, oh yeah, it gets a bit more blue in the shadows. Okay. Yeah, oh yes, no. But the thing that you forget is that there's actually tons, most of the time, 
small little weeds and such sticking out. Out of the grass, it's I think quite desaturated. But that's one of the things you often forget because you don't think to put in that vegetation. And in moss, there's often a lot of red going on. And there's tons of different mosses at these stones or rocks. So that's one important thing to remember. Uh, so now that we have these, there's quite a big difference, as you can see. So let's do the third one with the things that we learned from this piece. And put it on a rock that looks like this. Let's paint over this. Now, if you have followed along in this process, you will have created one piece from imagination. And you will find out that after you've done the study and as that, there's actually quite a big difference. But I want you to keep this piece so that you actually remember what it looks like. Because when you put it side to side and you've actually done a study, you're gonna see that you learn a lot more. Now this is the fact, you want to fail fast and fail forward, you can say that. And then once you've done the study, you do it once again from imagination. So use your combined knowledge. So, you'll see here that, okay, let's see, do it like this, okay. So you'll see here that this piece and this piece are quite different. And that's the point. And that's just from one study. So one thing that you always need to think about when doing these sorts of studies and all of that is you need to remember to compare the two pieces. Okay, what's the difference between this and this? Okay, so we have a lot more pink in this than this because there's almost nothing here almost sort of indication here okay uh, it's a lot more blue and like cold colors here while the moss on this stone is a lot warmer could be from the color temperature of the piece and how the weather conditions are but uh, it should be something a bit warmer but then there's also loads of different types of moss. This certain sort of education here, which gives us a bit of red tones. There's these like black moss-ish almost. And then we have these uh, desaturated teal colors, which is another type of moss actually. So then with that out of the way, we do a third one. And as you can see, we have incorporated a bit of a stone shape almost it was a bit off here and yeah I'm not very happy with this shape but uh, it it proves the point at least so you, you can keep doing these studies over and over again because you will find that you will actually learn a lot from them and yeah don't don't feel content with just doing like, one study and doing three of these do nine of them do do how many of them as you like and they don't just apply to rocks you can use it for bags faces anatomy horses absolutely anything you want to learn how to draw it's called rapid that's not an F failure so you fail fast to fail forward 
And uh, with that, love you all and see you next time.